Have you ever wondered why your muscles feel firm even when you're just chilling on the couch? What exactly is keeping you upright? Hey everyone, welcome back to the Active Wave channel, your go-to source for cutting edge fitness insights. If you're excited about fitness and fitness technology, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date with all of our latest content. Today we're diving into something that's crucial to our fitness journey, but often overlooked, muscle tone. Now we're not talking about how awesome you look with your shirt off. Muscle tone is the continuous and passive partial contraction of all of the muscles in our body. In this video, we'll cover what muscle tone is, how our body maintains it, it's health and fitness implications, and most importantly, how you can influence your muscle tone. So if you're ready to get toned and understand the science behind it, tighten up your laces, grab your water bottle, let's dive in. I wanna start by talking about the physiological basis of muscle tone or what muscle tone is. Like I mentioned, muscle tone is the continuous and passive partial contraction of the muscles. It's a critical aspect of our muscle function and it's primarily governed by the nervous system. So there is a neural control of muscle tone. Muscle tone is regulated by the brain and the spinal cord, which constantly sends signals to the muscles that maintains a baseline level of contraction, even when the muscles are not actively in use. This involves motor neurons, which are the nerve cells that innervate muscle fibers. Each motor neuron and the muscle fibers it stimulates form a motor unit. The continuous firing of motor neurons at a low rate is essential for muscle tone. It also involves neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters like acetylcholine play a vital role in the communication between motor neurons and the muscle fibers themselves. The release of these neurotransmitters at neuromuscular junctions facilitate the constant low-level activation of the muscles. The next components involved are the muscle spindles and what we call the stretch reflex. Muscle spindles are sensory receptors within the belly of the muscle. They play a key role in the maintenance of muscle tone through the stretch reflex. These spindles detect changes in the length of muscle and when a muscle is stretched, the spindles are activated. The stretch reflex is a feedback mechanism. When muscle spindles detect stretching, they send signals to the spinal cord, which in turn send immediate signals back to the muscle to contract. This helps maintain the muscle in a state of readiness, contributes to muscle tone, and keeps us from tearing our muscles. Finally, we have gamma motor neurons. Apart from the regular alpha motor neurons, there are gamma motor neurons that specifically innervate muscle spindles. These neurons adjust the sensitivity of muscle spindles. By controlling the tension in muscle spindles, gamma motor neurons can modulate the spindles response to muscle stress. This fine tuning is crucial for maintaining appropriate muscle tone and coordinating muscle activity. So that's the basics of muscle tone, but what does all of this mean for your overall health, physical fitness, and daily function? First, it's key for posture, balance, support, and stability. The continuous partial contraction of muscles is what keeps the body upright and supports the spine. The subtle adjustments made by muscles, facilitated by their tone, are what help in stabilizing the body during movement and while standing still. It's also key in injury prevention and joint support. Muscles with proper tone act as natural braces for the joint, which reduces the risk of joint-related injuries. And it also means reduced strain on the body. Well-toned muscles distribute physical stresses more evenly, and that helps prevent overuse injuries and muscle strains. There's also some metabolic benefits. Muscle tissue is metabolically active, even at rest. Therefore, maintaining muscle tone can positively impact your basal metabolic rate, aiding in weight management, and overall metabolic health. Well-toned muscles are also more effective at glucose uptake, which is beneficial for managing blood sugar levels. Muscle tone is also key for functional strength and endurance. Good muscle tone enhances function functional strength, making everyday activities like lifting, walking, climbing stairs easier and more effective. It also leads to improved endurance as muscles can perform for longer durations without fatigue. I want to quickly go back to posture and how muscle tone impacts posture and what bad posture looks like within the body. Muscles can get locked long or locked short, which means they're not at their normal contractile length at rest. This is why if we spend an extended period of time in bad posture, we feel like we're stuck there and we always end up back in that position. So what factors influence muscle tone? First, of course, we have exercise and physical activity. Resistance exercises are obviously key to improve muscle tone. They stimulate muscle fibers that leads to increased neuromuscular efficiency and muscle firmness. What's really important here is consistency. Regular exercise is really crucial to maintain muscle tone. Sporadic activity is shown to be less effective at maintaining muscle tone compared to a consistent routine. It's also important to maintain variety in your exercise. Incorporating a range of activities, both aerobic, strength, and flexibility training can comprehensively improve your muscle tone. Nutrition, of course, also plays a role in muscle tone. Adequate protein is essential for muscle repair and growth, and consuming enough protein supports muscle recovery, which helps maintain that muscle tone. Hydration also plays a pivotal role. Muscles require sufficient hydrogen to function optimally, and dehydration can negatively affect muscle tone and overall muscle function. There are, of course, age and hormonal factors affecting muscle tone. Muscle tone naturally decreases with age due to changes in muscle mass and neuromuscular function, and our hormonal balance impacts muscle growth and tone. For instance, testosterone and growth hormone both play roles in muscle development and maintenance. And finally, we have neuromuscular health and nervous system function. The health of the nervous system is crucial for muscle tone as it regulates muscle contraction. Neurological disorders like multiple sclerosis or Parkinson's disease can affect muscle tone and can lead to hypertonia or hypotonia. 
And that active waivers, I don't know if we can call you that, but we're going to try it out, wraps up our deep dive into the world of muscle tone. We journey through the intricacies of what muscle tone is, its crucial role in our health and fitness, and how our lifestyle choices directly impact it. If you have any questions or want to share your own experiences, drop them in the comments below. We love hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.